Bloodfin Parrot Cichlid, Care and Info. Generally, hybrid fish have a bad rap among hobbyists, but one fish that has been bucking this trend is the Bloodfin Parrot Cichlid. It has become quite the popular pet fish in recent times. Keeping it successfully does come with a few challenges. That is why we will look at everything you need to know to ensure that they can live out their rather long lifespan with ease. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we will be taking a look at the somewhat controversial Bloodfin Parrot Cichlid. But before I continue, can you do me a favor and tap that like button? It really helps us out if you do. Okay, let's get back to it. Bloodfin Parrot Cichlid Natural Habitat. As this is a hybrid fish created by mixing two different species through human intervention, it does not occur in nature. The exact parent species have been guarded as a trade secret, but the consensus is that the blood red parrot cichlid was bred using the red devil cichlid and the Midas cichlid. Both these cichlids originate from freshwater bodies in South America. The actual country where these fish were first bred is most probably Taiwan. Because of all these uncertainties and the fact that it is a result of a hybrid breeding, some hobbyists have an aversion to keeping these fish as pets, and that is understandable. Physical Description Despite all the controversy surrounding the origin of this fish, it has been enjoying a lot of popularity in recent years, and its appearance has played a big role in that. As the name suggests, it has a very bright and deep coloration. The exact color can vary from a candy orange to a light crimson. More than the coloration, it is the shape of this fish and its mannerisms that make it very attractive to many hobbyists. As the name suggests, the mouth is shaped similarly to that of a bird's. It opens vertically, which makes this fish seem like a bird when it is feeding. The overall shape of the body is round, and this is a stocky fish with some girth to it. These fish can have a lifespan of as long as 20 years, but it can vary widely depending on the way it is raised and the severity of their deformities. Should you buy a blood red parrot cichlid? That brings us to the elephant in the room, which is the ethics behind this fish. This is a highly controversial topic and one that has no clear cut answers. Because of the origin of this fish, it will come with deformities. The affirmation mouth is one. Their short stocky bodies are another. Some will have a severe dip in the spine, others will have deformed organs and eyes. The worst of the lot are those parrot cichlids that are then injected with dyes to create out of this world colorations. So, should you buy this fish? You should absolutely avoid any fish that has been injected with dye, as that is not only highly unethical, but also reduces the lifespan of the fish quite drastically. Similarly, those fish that are severely deformed should also be avoided. That leaves us with those parrot cichlids that have minor deformities, but are healthy and happy. Whether you should still buy such a fish is down to your conscience. Ideal tank setup. If you do decide on getting a blood red parrot cichlid, they need to be kept properly to ensure that they can lead a happy and healthy life. These fish can grow to be quite big at about eight inches and sometimes even more. This necessitates a tank that is at least 30 gallons for a single fish, though I recommend a minimum of 45 gallons. Each additional fish will need an extra 20 gallons. The tank setup should be such that there is a nice mix of hiding spots and open spaces. The hiding spots have to be large enough to accommodate these fish. They will rearrange the decor and substrate. Make sure that these are chosen in such a way that they do not cause any harm to the fish. A fine sand substrate is the recommended way to go as these fish love to dig. Live plants should be avoided as they will be uprooted. These fish can produce a lot of waste and the filtration system should be powerful enough to handle it. A high quality heater should also be installed. Check the description below for some of our recommendations. Water parameters. As these fish are a hybrid of South America cichlids, the blood red parrot cichlid also prefers similar conditions. They do very well in warm and slightly acidic conditions. The generally accepted ideal range for the various water parameters is as follows. Water temperature, 76 degrees Fahrenheit to about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 and a half degrees Celsius to 26 and a half Celsius. pH, 6.5 to 7.4. Water hardness, 6 to 18 DGH. Stability is the key and regular testing and maintenance should be done. If these conditions are maintained fastidiously, 
there is every chance that these fish can give you company for more than a decade. Diet. These fish are in picky eaters and will readily accept most fish food. As they are omnivorous by nature, go for commercial fish food that has been specifically formulated for South American cichlids. The occasional treat in the form of live or frozen food will keep things interesting for these fish. Blood red parrot cichlids are somewhat paradoxical as they are voracious feeders that will keep eating as long as the food is available, but their weirdly shaped mouths can cause some trouble for them, especially you keep them with other active fish. Sinking pellets are your best bet and feed them twice a day with just enough food that they can finish in under a minute. Again, check the description below for some of our recommendations. Behavior and tank mates. Despite being cichlids, they are relatively docile and can be kept with fish of similar sizes. They will occasionally chase each other around or chase other fish as well, but they rarely will do any actual harm. They can also stand up to more aggressive fish, and this makes them quite the versatile community fish. Avoid anything small or too docile. Ideal tank mates for the blood red Paris cichlids include honey gourami, silver dollarfish, yo-yo loach, emperor tetra, bala shark, fire mouth cichlids, tiger barbs, plecos, cribensis cichlid, dwarf gourami. These fish are highly personable and will learn to recognize the humans, which is quite cool for a fish. Breeding. While these fish can be induced to lay eggs, most of the time, they will end up being sterile. On the off chance that they do turn out to be viable, we do not recommend trying to breed them as their defects will only become more severe in their offsprings. Diseases. These are generally quite hardy fish, and as long as the aquarium is maintained properly, they stay disease-free. Ick is their most common ailment, and this can be treated quite easily with some readily available fish medication. They can also suffer from swim bladder disease. These can sometimes be treated with medication, but at other times, it is often permanent due to the defects in their body cavity that becomes more apparent as they grow larger. In severe cases, this can constrict their internal organs to the point where they cannot even eat and they end up dying a rather slow death. Sadly, this is the downside of keeping these fish, which is why it is very important to get them from a reputed seller who can make sure that these physical defects are minimal. To sum it up, the blood red parrot cichlid isn't for everyone. It requires an intermediate level of care as well as a large tank. The defects that it will come with can complicate things as they grow larger, and then there is the whole ethical side of things. However, they are also one of the most personal fish in the hobby, and the choice of whether you should keep them or not boils down to your moral compass. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to tap that like button, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. You can also support the channel by becoming a member. Thank you, and I will see you in the next video.